it's nighttime, middle of the night. Um, what's everyone doing? Are you sleeping? Are you skulking? Are you picarosing? Still drunk? Still drunk? Okay. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> still yeah, having your mage him. hand clean up the floor? <laughs> yep. It's just still... Just a wet rag of vomit just kind of like wiping around now. Oh, no. <laughs> I yeah, we, I think that. we left that part out of our description yeah, of what happened that. last week. Too. We did. I used shape water and got rid of that immediately. Uh, with no, with no description necessary. So the you know, the important part with the, the <laughs> disgusting part is the fact that Ptolemaeus was unconsciously using mage hand and moving things around, which is uh-huh. intriguing. Yep. No. But, uh... Yeah, I'm still I'm probably still unconscious. I'll just, yeah. I'll just keep with that. <laughs> All right. Well, Prime is going to look in on Tikaros and see how she's doing since he's been out and about doing other things. And that's the only just one we haven't well. checked on. Yeah. So Prime, where have you been? I need help with this child. I can't be doing this all myself. Um I I understand. Uh, I will be back shortly. Um, Niktos has requested to speak with me. Okay. Maybe we could come with you. And she bundles up the child, getting ready to leave. I, I think he wanted a private conversation, but um, I, I suppose we could ask him. Um, okay, let's try it. <laughs> I can just see Prime, you know, his shoulders kind of down a little bit. And so he will walk to uh, Nikdos's door and knock softly on the door. And when it's answered, he will open it. And, um, you wanted to speak with me. Um, Tikaros is here with me. Um, and you'll hear from the other side. Oh, well, I was hoping we could talk privately. <laughs> and Prime's just going to look at you like... Um, that that sounds really secret. Okay, you go in, Prime. I'll just be waiting. Oh, okay. <laughs> he will carefully shut the door behind him. <laughs> and stay there and listen. <laughs> I had a feeling you might, but <laughs> I don't know. It seems a little anticoros, but who knows, you know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. All right. <clears throat> How about everyone else? Everyone sleeping because I don't want to you to miss your chance to say something that's going on if you're zonked out. I'm sleeping. All right. All right. Very good. Yeah, Vara, Vara would have finally fallen asleep at this point. Ari mm-hmm. probably isn't asleep, but is just sort of laying in bed, trying to, but failing. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tikaros, since you are listening in, um, and I assume you're trying to do so without, you know, making a lot of noise and trying to keep the child quiet. Yeah. I didn't think of that through, but yes. So, yes. Let's have a stealth check okay. at disadvantage because you are having to stealth someone who's not concerned about being stealthy. So totally fair. Let's see how we go here. Okay. Not too bad. 15 with disadvantage. That is not bad at all. That is that is amazing with disadvantage. All right. So while you are outside the door, <laughs> you overhear portions of the conversation. There are times where it's, you know, Prime and Nyctos both talk in that almost Ptolemaeus tone of voice, that very soft and kind of very even spoken. But every once in a while, you hear raised voices, <clears throat> especially... Well, you hear Nikdos raise voice. You don't really hear Prime raising his voice. But Nikdos is questioning Prime about why he wants to continue on with this group. What is he trying to achieve? And expressing his disappointment that Prime is not focusing on his studies and philosophy and filing and organizing because that's what he's his his specialty is. That's that's what he was born for. And you hear some of Prime's responses. He specifically talks about Ptolemaeus. 
and how he feels a special kindredship to Ptolemaeus. And, and he believes that is felt back. Ptolemaeus once told him he was like a brother to him. And Nyctos almost flares up at that. He seems quite unhappy with that comparison. He also mentions Tikaros. And I'm going to have you roll a perception check to see how much you can hear of what he says about Tikaros. Oops, my dice ran off the table. <laughs> Perception. 16. Oh, my word. Well, I guess you pretty much hear everything. Um, he goes on for a good 20 minutes, but most of it is starting sentences and stopping. Hey, she's very special to me. I feel like I, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I... I feel like she should be protected, and I, I know everyone else will protect her, but I feel like I have, I, she's important to me. <laughs> and he will just continue on like that, stuttering and, and not com completing any sentence. He also mentions Adrastos and Ariana, and how supportive they are, and how they have referred to him as family. And how Adrastos, when he was speaking with everyone and, and calling them members of his tribe, he, he included Prime in that. And apparently that had a special meaning to Prime as well. And then he, you hear him mention Agrios, and then his, he kind of drops in volume quite a bit. And the next thing you hear is Niktos. No, that is unacceptable! I, I, that's, we will discuss this later, Prime, and I, believe me, I am going to talk to your friends about this as well. And with that, the door starts to open. Okay, okay, okay. Back up quietly, just a little bit. Try to hide in a shadow. <laughs> He's going to open the door, come out, and... Look around, and uh, let's see, you got a 15 on that, right? 15, yeah, that was the stealth. Yep. Prime is going to walk out and kind of look around and just quietly shut the door and with his head down, walk back towards the filing room, the room with all the tables and papers in it. Okay, great. I'll follow at a distance. He goes in and sits down at a table, and his hands are on the table for a moment. And you notice he's kind of, you hear the table crack, kind of like you heard when Adrastos was upset and was holding on to a table and broke the edge of it. Like there's a lot of pressure on this table. And then he's going to sit back and grab papers and just start looking at the papers and beginning to file them in different locations. Okay, I feel like Tikaros wouldn't have the wisdom to stay away. So she would probably enter the room, go over to him with the child and go, the child is sleeping peacefully, Prime, and you are such a good researcher. Hmm. Thank you. Wonderful. I'm, I'm glad. We really should at least temporarily come up for a name. I mean, they, Ariana named Arul as Bubo. I'm, I assume, I don't think Bubo is a good name for a child. But... Probably not. Yeah. It's already taken too, so. Yeah, that's what true. What do you that think when you confusing. look at this little baby? What do you think of? The first thing that comes to your head. Um, theft? That's adorable. But a little too sneaky, even for me. Hmm. Uh, well, I guess stolen wouldn't match then either. Um, 
I don't know that abandoned fits. We're not sure quite where where the returned one found him. Um, hmm. Waif. Waif. That's really adorable. Sorry. <laughs> that was a funny chat message. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Uh, we need someone stated that we needed the 90s X-Men theme going in the background for this. I agree. And then I suppose Waif, Waif it is. Um, waif. Have you thought, Icarus, about um, what we're going to do with this child? I mean, his parents must be looking for him somewhere. Yeah, and it's you know, I have a memory of looking after a child at some point in my life, but now I feel different. I feel like this is a burden and I feel like this child's parents are looking for it and we have to take it back soon. I know the rest of the group is planning to, to continue on the journey looking for the village. Um, I am sure one of the temples would be willing to take the child in. I, I believe there, there, there's actually a temple of Afara, and I believe there are people from Satessa which are known for taking in um, well, orphans. Maybe they'd be willing to watch over the child. That's a great idea. Maybe we can, well, you can tell everybody in the morning when they wake up. Oh, okay. Um, why? Why me? Why, I'm because I... Prime, you're intelligent, and that was your idea, and you should own it. And you're one of us, and you have to keep coming with us because look how much you've changed and grown over the last little time. And we wouldn't be safe and happy as we are without you. He's going to look over his shoulder back down the hallway towards Nikto's room, and um. Thank you. It's very nice to hear that. Um, we'll, we'll see how that goes. It is my preference to go with all of you and see this through. Yes, that is our preference also. So it shall be. Good. Um, I'm going to file papers for a while. Um, you're welcome to stay or, or maybe rest, whatever you would like. If you'd like to stay and talk, I guess we could continue that as well. But uh... No, well, that's okay. I think I've been annoying, so I'm going to go rest. You are many things, but never annoying. Thanks, Prime. Maybe and we'll just turn back and start filing. <laughs> yeah, and I'll just quietly leave and patter back to my room. All right. If everyone else is resting, that will continue till morning time, at which time when you wake up, uh, Prime will uh, be in the kitchen area already making breakfast, for you, kind of anticipating the group, knowing the group about when they'll get up, um, except for Ptolemaeus, he may be a little concerned about him, and therefore he is making a special drink for Ptolemaeus. He seems to be adding quite a few things into it, different herbs and everything. It actually seems to have some kind of a bit of mist or smoke or something coming off of it as well. I I feel like Ariana probably gets up a little bit earlier than normal, and yet, like, Prime's already in the kitchen. Uh, she probably gives him a bit of a nod, a little bit, little bit wary of him and his strange choice of deception um but then we'll like go for a run and come back probably later than normal just like drenched and just looking absolutely knackered all right very good everyone else all right he will go to ptolemaeus's room to wake him up okay. taking the drink with him 
So he will stand outside and knock on the door softly at first, and then if there's no response, a little bit harder, <laughs> and then a little bit more. If like in the middle of it, I'll just it'll I'll just be like, okay, that's that's too loud, too loud. Just come in, whoever's out there. The door creaks open. Um, I know that you. Uh, I believe they call it uh day after illness this morning and i i brought you this some people have purported it helps i smell it <laughs> what does it smell like give me a perception check oh, with boy. disadvantage <laughs> oh yeah yeah of course obviously <laughs> oh that would have been nice that's that's a lot less nice that is a uh, 13. all right it's not bad, really. Um, in your journeys, you've you've been many places, studied many place things, but you remember there was one library in particular you had been in that had been flooded, and when you went in, the books, uh, some of the books, the scrolls and stuff were covered in mold and mildew as it was being cleaned. It's very reminiscent of that. Oh God. Um. Uh, Prime, do you, is there just water? Is there water as well? I think I need. It has water something. in it, yes. No, I mean, just wa more water. Um, I'm a little dehydrated. I think I uh, probably expelled most of what I drank and ate last uh, night. Uh, okay, I, I will be back with some water. And he Perfect. will leave and come back a few minutes later with uh, some water, both a, a small tankard of water and a glass, and set it down. Um, well, during the time, like, when he left, the the drink is in the room still, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I will, I would like to self-impose a wisdom check to, for myself to see if I'm going to <laughs> chuck, chuck it or drink it. <laughs> Or trust okay. me. Uh, okay. I'm going to take a sip of it. Okay. Uh, if you would, please give me a constitution check. Perfect. Ooh, uh, that's a two. So you go to take a drink of it, and it's not too bad, so you decide I'm going to take a little bit more. And so you kind of fill your mouth with it, and that's when it hits you, that you've, you've, you've bitten into to like an egg that has gone too long before, um, meat that sat on the shelf too long, and you kind of get that mixed with, mixed with this saffrony spicy kind of a flavor to it. And it's a little too much, and it reactivates every issue that you had the night before. Oh, yeah. Then it 100%, I'll just kind of grab it and just... <laughs> just throw it back <laughs> into the cup and just leave it out somewhere else. And actually, no. I, I think I'm just going to knock it on the floor. <laughs> just... I'm not even, I can't even, oh, oh no, it's, it's all gone. Um, and just lay back into the, on the bed. I'm pretty sure it does not feel good at all Vara, at this point. Vara quietly gets up from the chair, having watched all of this happen. <laughs> she was sleeping in the chair in Tali's room. <laughs> She's going to walk past you, hand you a good berry, and say, I'm not cleaning that up. <laughs> I've already cleaned enough. <laughs> this will no. clear your palate. And she's going to leave the room. <laughs> I'll just kind of like mouth thank you and sorry <laughs> at the same time. I'll just... <laughs> <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, I'll just sit there and wait till Prime gets back. Prime's going to come back in with it and go, Oh, um, I'm sorry. And he'll set the stuff down and go, I will go make some more, then I'll come clean this oh, up. Prime, 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 yes. prime. I did this on purpose. 
Oh. I was very violently reacting to whatever I tried drinking. I thank you so much for your help. But I... I feel like whatever contents was in that cup should not be inside of me. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I will note that. Um, if you don't mind, I, I will not uh, put your name on it. Uh, I understand you have enough issues with Drakios, and I, I don't know that he would uh, uh, appreciate your feelings about his remedy. Honestly, put my name down there. <laughs> I, it's his. Re oh boy. Oh. Yeah, let's. Uh, I'll just have the water, and I'll just start cleaning up. There's the bucket still there, right, and everything. I'll just start. Cleaning oh yeah, up yeah. And <laughs> I, I was it. just like, yep. I, I hate to bother you with this, and, and I know you're not feeling well, but uh, Niktos has requested to speak with you privately. All of us, or just me? Um, he specifically requested you, and I'm, I'm, I'm afraid it is partially my fault. Um, he is unhappy with my accompanying the group. And we were discussing the travels, and um, I may have intimated our relationship as being more important than you may consider it. Um, and I'm, I think he's looking for someone to um, convince that I should not be accompanying you. And I do not want you to feel an obligation to me that I should go. Um, and uh, if I could find a way to escape this conversation, I would. But I do not feel at this point that there's a good way to do that. So just Nikto and I, though, you're not going to be there? Um, he specifically requested I not be. That's fine. I'll speak with him. Just... <laughs> Maybe a little bit, a little bit more water before I do. Yeah. <laughs> so he will, he will empty the tankard for you. Go get some more. Yeah. However many trips you need. Would you, would you care for some food? I have eggs and uh, we have some salted no, pork. No, I'm, I'm good with eggs. No, I'm fine. That's, it's okay. Um, maybe, maybe bread. That's too close to whatever that was just bread okay yeah so he will go and uh, bring back some bread for you i'll just keep on cleaning um and try to get myself as sober as possible with the water all right as for the rest of you Morning going on, eating breakfast, anything you all want to do, uh, preparing for setting out, or anything else you need to do before you continue on your journey. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. Oh, I slept like the dead. Oh. Sitting, eating very quietly. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, hair all over the place just totally <laughs> looking disastrous yeah I've, I've walked down at this point and kind of joined everyone at the table and i'm just eating and yeah good morning how are you all doing not too bad um such a maze that's good is um oh, is Tigros around? There is we're upstairs with our rooms and eating downstairs, am I remembering correctly? Sure. Yeah, cool. She'll Tigros will kind of slower than usual come down the stairs with the child and 
kind of look around and say, hello, everybody. This is Waif, Waif. named, yeah, yeah uh, Prime named them last night. Oh, that's wonderful. That's pretty cool. I like that. Ah, uh, yes, the Sprog. The Sprog? The Sprog? So you've named it Waif? Prime named it, and it's a good name. It's better than Sprog. And here, Abriel, I think it's your turn to look after for a little bit. And she'll place the child near you and go and start chomping on some food. I um, I do want to point out that, though I think it is good that we have something to refer to the child as, um, that is likely not its actual name. I don't, I don't want naming it to cause an attachment. We are still looking for the parents. Correct? Mm. So, Agrios, don't get too attached. <laughs> As if I would be attached to that. You never know. It's very cute. Oh, um, and uh, Var will kind of look over to Ari and just kind of hesitate for a moment and then look back to Tikaris and Agrios and um, I don't believe Adrestos told either of you. Um, don't be offended if you didn't, but um, there was some information uncovered by Prime yesterday um, dealing with um, matters important to Adrestos that he has filled called away to um, take care of and wanted to do it alone, especially since we have multiple things we're juggling as a group already, feeling pulled in multiple directions. So um, he isn't going too far and, and he will regroup with us relatively soon, but um, he left in the middle of the night um, and we will regroup with him once he's done what he needs to do. What's all this? What's he doing? Um, I don't know exactly how it's going to transpire, but the information was um, about Crassus. Um, I think, Ari, maybe you know more about his past than I do. If you want oh, to speak no. on it. I'm going to run over to Ariana and like nestle my head under her armpit and give her a little squeeze. I'm so sorry. You must be really sad. <clears throat> Uh, Drastos is doing what he needs to do. He's always been very headstrong and is going to continue being that way. So uh, best let him do what he's going to do. The, the Minotaur, Drastos. Yes. Oh. All right. I believe he's, if, if I'm remembering correctly, he's been on some kind of warpath um of the nameless so there's been information leading directly to where he is um i i gave um adrastos a, a reviving coin i guess in hindsight it'd be hard for him to use it if he had if he were to fall but i guess maybe he could have it available easily for someone else to use label it maybe but uh, i don't know it was mostly a sentiment more so than practical but um, anyways, he, he has that, so. <laughs> I see him with a little thing that says, in case of emergency break yes. glass. Yeah, yes. exactly. Or I was, Please I was resuscitate. Yeah, know. I was imagining like one of those like allergy bracelets of like. <laughs> see, I'm my just name, seeing him with a little cat collar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're Call my owner if you find that I've exactly. been passed out. And then, like, found. A, a number to the sending stone. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Oh, goodness. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yes, um, he will potentially try to find us when he's done his task. It should hopefully time out well um, and just meet us in Tavi or something similar so um should we perhaps spend this morning 
checking in with uh, the local authorities to see if anyone has reported a lost child in the outlying towns. Yes, I, I believe it'd be <clears throat> important to meet with the council. They probably want to hear about what we saw in the village. Um, I'd also like to confirm that we brought the dolphin back in one piece. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Dracios and Elitus are still in, as far as we know, still in Akros. Yeah. Okay. And actually about this time, Prime will walk in and, well, you could always send a message to them. Oh, um, yes. Did we tell them we arrived here? I don't think we ended up because we still had um, not Bubo. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, we should send a message to them as well to let them know that we're here. Um, I should also perhaps check in with the priests. Oh, yes, we were going to do that. Yeah, I, I believe we have some housekeeping to do today, and then perhaps we could head out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Temples, Prime, you've got to tell them your idea from last night. Tell them your idea. Yeah. Temples, Satessa, oh. Ephara. Um, uh, <laughs> every time he tries to open his mouth, uh, 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 <laughs> there is a there is a temple of Ephara, uh, and there are some nuns from the city of Satessa that work there. And I was thinking, since Satessa takes in many orphans from from all across the Pharos, um, maybe they would be willing to take the child for now. Oh, yes. That would make sense. And if the parents do not come forth, I assume the child could be taken to Satessa. Okay. That uh, is a good plan, Prime. Thank you. Hmm. Well, perfect. I think we should check in with the authorities first, see if it's not an easy an easy find already, but yes, I, I think going to the temple after that would be a good idea. We already have mm -hmm. wagon supplies, so uh, I guess perhaps maybe if we're if we're efficient, we can accomplish everything this morning and head out in the afternoon. Uh, Ptolemaeus, uh, if they're going to head out, what are you going to do? Are you going to go meet Nyctos or put it off? <laughs> around around this time, I would have kind of walked down like very slowly kind of catching the really the very tail end of everything and just go I think I'm gonna stay here until we are ready to go I um first of all still quite quite feeling the effects of whatever happened, whatever I drank last night. But also I need to talk to, I need to talk to Nyctos. All right. And I'm really trying to not feel like this while I'm talking to Nyctos. So, well, there, come was a, here. there was a perfectly good concoction you could have drank, but I suppose mm. not. Vara, you did, you weren't close enough to smell whatever I, <laughs> Could you, could you really, Dracios and his inventions, oh, <laughs> I'll just walk over to Ari and just like, yes? Um, she'll boop his forehead and lay five hands of, uh, lay on hands and your- Five hands! Five hands! <laughs> Have my five hands! <laughs> yes. Um, and uh, yeah, five points of lay on hands, so you're all good. I'll just be like, don't drink any more. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you keep doing this to yourself? Uh, okay, well, the headache's gone. I think that's pretty good. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Um, okay. I would say good luck, but. Uh, I think I need the luck more than you guys do. I'll let you know what happens when you get back. Sounds good, sir. 
I'll just kind of look around and just... Everybody else isn't joining us for a bit, huh? I think well, he's down. Right here. He's there. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right behind Adrestos. <laughs> Adrestos. Adrestos. I'm not the only one. Somebody else did, too. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely did. Too many A names. God dang it. Oh, uh, no. I know. Adrestos. Adrestos isn't joining us, huh? <laughs> He won't be for a know. while. Yeah, he's he's on his own journey at the moment. It's fine. He knows that we have him and he has us in these little red bands anyways. And I'll just walk back upstairs. <laughs> or walk towards Nyctos' room, wherever it is. Yeah, that works. All right. And the door is partway open when you arrive. <clears throat> I'll just kind of knock on the door. Um, yes? Did Come you in? ask to see me? Oh, uh, Ptolemaeus, is it? Yes. Uh, would you mind and close the door, please? I would like to discuss with you privately. And we'll close the door pretty softly. <clears throat> um, I, I believe this is the first time we've met. I don't know, you seem familiar to me somehow, but I, probably because Prime's told me so much about you. It might be that. Also, I just have a very familiar face, I guess, to a lot of people. I see. Um, I have a concern. And, um, Prime has been getting these ideas about that he's some kind of adventurer or, or an investigator for, for Elitis. And I'm very concerned about how he's gotten this notion into his head. And, and I'm not blaming you. Please understand. I, I, I'm sure you all are just, uh, trying to, you know, make him feel welcome and not alienated and not intending to lead him on for something that's not true. But all this talk of uh, family and brothership, you, you need to understand that Prime is, is, he's very intelligent, but he is very childlike in some ways. And he takes these things seriously and, and believes that you mean when you say these things. And I'm afraid yeah, it may do. be giving him an impression. I, I'm sorry? We do. I don't... <laughs> of, of, of course. Uh, not, not meaning, but... I would like to ask a question of... To you, actually. What... Who is Prime to you? What does he mean to you? Time, time is time is my son. And that gives you some sort of right to know exactly what he's what he wants at all times no i i don't presume to know it, his every want and desire but i do know what is best for him. i i know what is good for him i know i know where his talents lie i know that he my son has always had an interest in philosophy and, and studying and... That sounds more like you're treating him like the anvil rot that he is, like the construct that he is, that he has strengths and he must play to them. He is... His... his 
He is anvil rot, but he... He has a soul. He is my son. You must understand. I do not say this in front of the full council, and I will say this to you. And if you repeat it... I don't know. I, I may deny it. I may not. I, I, I've told the lie for so long. My son vanished. Dead. But they've never said how. They've a well and, and, and drowning, but there was no body. How can you have someone drown in a well if there's no body? And then they said maybe he he ran away, but not he wouldn't do that. It's 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 not his way. He's he would be scared to go out of these city walls on his own. He he would he has the book knowledge, but he wouldn't he wouldn't know how to he wouldn't know how to, to skin a rabbit. He would he could barely he could barely pick an ear of corn himself. He was very smart. He he liked to figure things out. He liked to know how things work. He 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 would argue and debate with anyone the logic of a point. He would pick the opposite point of an argument just to have the argument and, and to learn from it. And then he was taken from me. And I will admit, I, I suffered. For a while. Have, have you ever lost anyone important to you like that? Can, can, the pain? It's like, it's like being at, at the bottom of a deep chasm with, with no way, no way out. Understand, I'm... I'm treated like some kind of smart man. I'm Lameus. I'm a craftsman. I stayed up nights studying books so that I could debate with my son, so that I could stay on the edge of interest for him. He was more intelligent than I would ever be. So when he disappeared. I went to the priests of Perforos and buried myself in studies. And one day I ran across the remains, if you will, of two anvil rocks. One was an owl, which I repaired. A simple task. Owls are simple creatures. But as I began to work the, the metal and, and restore and, and pray, I prayed constantly. I prayed. I prayed not just to Perforos. I prayed, I prayed to Erebus. I prayed... To Athreos, to for my son. Understand, without a body, I could not put coins for my son's journey. So I knew he was wandering. And I, I reshaped Prime's body. But I could never bring him back. I couldn't invest with him, that, that which Perforos can breathe into. Except one day when my prayer was answered. And my son found his way to the body I was working on. When I say that Prime is my son, I don't mean figuratively. 
I mean, my son is invested in crime. And I cannot, I cannot bear to lose him again. But in doing so, this intelligent, logic-seeking son that you have, this one that always searches to find out new things and learn about them, in your fear of wanting to lose him, you are going to lose him. Crime Prime is not as innocent of a child as you might think. He has his own thoughts, he has his own abilities, he knows his strengths and he knows his weaknesses. And instead of just leaning into his strengths, he's doing something amazingly human. He's shoring up his weaknesses. And if you can't see to nurture that, that humanness of him, and just have him trapped here, what difference is he to other Anvil Roth? You, you, he is a child. He's, 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 he's like, would you, your parents, Ptolemaeus, would they allow you to, to play with a fire at four years old, to, to bury your hand in and pull out a burning log? What would your parents have done? How would your mother have taken that, Ptolemaeus? My parents would have spent a lot of time nurturing my own curiosity, regardless. And if my curiosity was dangerous, they would tell me so. But I wouldn't say that they would stop me. All I am saying is instead of having Prime wander out exploring his curiosities and not knowing what can happen to him, he's with friends. He's with family. He's with comrades that have spent so much time with him and understand that he is not just a simple anvil rock. And if there is at any point in time that he should be allowed to explore. It is with a safety net that we could provide. Your son, would he ever give up his curiosity for any one topic just because you told him that it wasn't worth it, that it wasn't his strength. Warned my son many times the dangers of the well that he was so fascinated in. But I didn't watch him all the time. I didn't guard him against it. And that is where they tell me my son Died, Ptolemaeus. Oh, 
there are always risks. And I understand that. You have suffered loss. And I understand that as well. But there is only so much you can do to keep someone who's as cu whose curiosity is so strong and, and s thirst for knowledge is so strong. Has he ever been as defiant? No. He's never had anyone stand in the way to bring him to this level of defiance. Are you, the small child that, that the satyr carries about that you found, are you going to take it into battle? Why not? You shake your head. Why won't you take that child into battle? You're there to protect it, aren't you? We're there to protect it. Just as I, we're there to protect Prime, and it doesn't necessarily mean that the child will vocally say that they want to specifically fight in the battle. Do you v feel that the child, the babe, has a voice? Their own conscious I, decision I, to do so. I feel that the child is a child, and that if that child's parents were here, they would do what they could to protect that child. I am telling you, I'm is still a child. You can argue with a 10-year-old on the courts of the council steps, Ptolemaeus. But that does not mean you are arguing with a fully grown and rational mind who can make life and death decisions. Prime is still a child. Later, fine. He is an anvil rot. He has many years ahead of him. I want to him to have an opportunity to grow into that. I would not send a four-year-old child into battle. And Prime, for all purposes, is just a child. No, not for all purposes. For this one purpose that you want him to be. The speed of which he grows. That isn't something for you to decide. It's for him to decide. And I believe that if you are so adamant about understanding that the soul of your son is within Prime, then I wholeheartedly think that Prime himself knows that this is the best opportunity, the safest opportunity. You think that he doesn't have worries of his own weakness? Do you think he's going to make brass decisions? No. He understands that that camaraderie that, the, that we all share is his strength. The way for him to understand his weaknesses in a relatively safe environment. Or else Why would he, in all the other times that he's not been defiant, been defiant now? My audio just out for a moment. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really couldn't hear you. I'm so sorry. Which 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 part? Uh, just the last what? sentence you were saying. Hold on a second. I'm going to switch okay. earbuds because that was really frustrating because I wasn't <laughs> sure if you cut out or I cut out. I'm going to go to a wired headphones. Okay. No. Go ahead. Sorry about that. You say that, well, why would you think of all the moments that he could have been defined? He is defined now. You say that there hasn't been anybody to influence him, but there's always been people to influence him. 
Yes, good people. Good people like Elitus, who I left him with here to teach him how to, how to read and, file and learn and expand his knowledge. The same Elitus that understood that Prime should wander out and come with us safe. I don't believe that Elitus told him to wander with you. I believe his instructions were to deliver a message and then return to Elitus. The which same he did not do. Thinks, the same Elitus. Unfortunate to him, but the same one that still thinks that although Prime is a special Anvil Rot, is Anvil Rot nonetheless. I'm fine with that if it keeps him safe. You say that you're in this wholeheartedly, but as I look at you and hear your words, I can only feel sorry for your parents, for what a heartless child they appear to have raised. There's, there are many things of my childhood that I could wish I would have been able to change. That is true. But never once did I blame my parents for any of it. And they only wish the best for me. But, well, let's just say that I also had a streak of defiance. And let's just say I also had parents that were not so keen on that defiance. I wish I w was able to be defiant and not be so alone. I have no way to persuade you that this is what's best for Prime. But in the path that he's on, regardless of how it was spurned, he will choose to follow it whether or not he has guidance. And as someone who has experienced that loneliness, I feel that it is just in everybody's best interest that he'd be able to venture with us and not by himself. I was hoping, based on the things that Prime had told me about you, that you would be not logical. just rational, <laughs> logical, but still have some, some, some spot of human depth in your heart to to understand a father's pain. I will not condone time going with you, and it will not be with my blessing if he chooses to go. And I will let you know I that should understand. anything happen to him, I will hold you in body and heart personally responsible for any damage done to my son. I will... This conversation is probably over by now, but I will just add, as a warning, almost, that children will always fly the coop, regardless. And I understand the pain 
so much, so, so much more than you think. It's just whether or not there is another hand reaching out to hold theirs once they fly to guide them that way. I'm willing to be that other hand for Prime. We, we all are. And I was hoping for a chance to hold my son's hand a little longer this time. A chance that was taken away from me before. And is taken away from me again. And with that, he is going to open the door. I'll, I'll stand up and just... good day and as you leave he will close the door behind you um as i walk away i'll finally kind of um let go of my hands i've been kind of like digging into my hand quite a bit and there's like a little spot of blood in my palm. And uh, I'll just wait outside the wagon where everybody else is returned. All right. With that, everybody else, <laughs> where are you going? And we're back. Where are you all hidden? <laughs> to the uh, temples. Yeah. All right. And then the council to sort of check it, or the the local authorities if there's okay. Opalites. All right. Well, uh, Prime, but by the you're way, muted. Is... Ah, hello. Um, <laughs> I thought it made sense to do that in reverse, right? Because one of the sure. part of the temple is. Um, seeing if they could take the kiddo into their right into their grasp but if the authorities know where the parents are we can just cut out that middleman option you're Oops. always so smart vara you think things through really well oh thank you <laughs> sorry something on my glasses so uh so you are going to the authorities first is that yes to okay see if there's any information about the child before we seek out uh babysitting okay services all right so uh you make your way to to the uh the outpost of the local militia and make your way inside to the front desk and you are greeted by a soldier uh, hello uh may i help you um we were curious if there had been any reports from any of the outlying cities looking for a lost child about this old a lost child well there tend to be many of those believe it or not but um anything Sadly, specific you can tell me uh whereabouts we rescued it from uh its captor um we were unable to get the location they said a, um, a village outside of melitus well that so it wouldn't it have been someone down, from the town doesn't it uh, not by much but yeah. Uh, male or female? Tikaros? I would have changed this child by now, so I would probably male. know. Male. <laughs> male. <laughs> we, that was actually stated at some point a session or two. Oh, okay. Back, really. so, <laughs> oh. Although I could have had fun there and said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a d6. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> also, if it's helpful, um, we retrieved the child um, a little ways down river. We were coming from Data Harbor. Um, appears to be human. Doesn't have hooves. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> and he'll head off into another room. 
and come back a few minutes later with some various pages on the thing looking through them. Um, I mean, there, there are a few. Um, a couple of inside city limits, but you're saying it was from outside for sure, right? No, no identifying marks, no, no, no papers, no no specific clothing is this clothing the child was found in or it's the clothing that we found him in um okay. the only other thing he had was a piece that we believe was left by the captor um oh and where is that it was removed um, um. by someone who isn't here at the moment um oh. it was a red piece of fabric it, it did look like this though um and she'll show her Band. And why was it removed? Uh, it is of personal significance to the person who took it, although the child isn't of any personal significance, but we think the kidnappers might have been. So he's actually currently looking for those kidnappers. Um, so he took that piece to go with him in hopes of hunting this guy down. And you see as he's writing, <laughs> I'm going to need a, <laughs> I'm gonna have to have a map to go with this conversation. <laughs> um, I, I get told that a lot. So, so the fabric was with the child, belonged to this other person, but he doesn't know, but he knows who it belonged to and went after them, but you don't know how it got to be with the child. Correct. We assume it was accidentally left on the child. But how did, so your friend accidentally left it on the child? No, the friend's friend. Friends. Okay. So. One second. <laughs> yeah. So we have a chart here. <laughs> there, was a, <laughs> there was a child that we encountered who had been captured by what was it? A type of nameless, correct? Oh. Or am I misremembering? Yes. A yes. type of nameless. Um, we do not believe that the red scarf was put with the baby by this nameless because it was in the swaddle already. When we opened up the swaddle, as you can see, we all have these red bands. It is a uh, familiar, familial importance to one of our party members. His name is Adrastos, for clarity. When we opened the swaddle and saw this band, this is specific to a tribe Adrastos uh, airs from. Um, and we have found other clues through research uh, that would suggest that perhaps someone had survived from Adrastos's clan and left this with the baby, whether with the intention for us to find it or hard yeah, to so say. You're, you're saying somebody stole this child because of you? I, I wouldn't necessarily go as far as that, but um, to include something like that with the child, it may have been a message in the event that we found it since um, this person may have known we were going along this river. That's that's a that's a pretty far assumption though. So so if we want to scratch that, we can. And you're sure well, that, that... Off the board. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> and, you're, and you're and you're sure that this cloth is the same as the cloth that you're you're wearing. Yes, we, we could. But it's not it related to the cloth that you're. Can you, can you give me just a moment? Sure. And he writes something else down, and he he looks at each one of you and writes something. Um, can I get your names, please? Oh, of course. Um, my name is Vara. Do you need last names as well? Uh, Tideborn. Okay. Ariana of of Akros. Okay. I'm called Agrios. Tikaros. Oh, very good. And he'll go and back then, in the other room. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, and if it matters, um, like I said, we have we have two others journeying with us as well who are yeah, uh, you have Bella. this Adrastos. Yes. Adrastos who um who went to seek out the captor. Um and also we have someone with this name, Ptolemaeus, who is um taking care of other business in town, if that's important. Very good. Oh. And and you're sure neither of this Ptolemaeus nor this Adrastos took the child? Took 
the child from yes originally uh oh, yes no. no they were with us the whole time and um we were coming from the north uh we encountered uh these folks on the path down okay. um you said that this cloth belonged to someone else in the part had they reported this cloth was missing prior to this i mean it was a cloth given to a childhood friend. He thinks the childhood friend is one of the people not involved with the kidnapping, but involved with the kidnapper, uh, and thus the kidnappee ended up with the cloth. So there's this person named Crassus. <laughs> I know who you're talking about, and even I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> there's this person named yes. Crassus who Adrastos has ties with from their childhood. Crassus has been slaying Nameless um, reportedly in a stretch that passes through this area. So it is possible that Crassus coincidentally attempted to slay either the Nameless that had the child or a different Nameless. And that's how the cloth got involved with the kid. I don't think they're directly connected. So Crassus was a childhood friend of this Adrastos. Yes, and a childhood enemy. Enemy. Crassus was a childhood enemy. But then, um, why would he have the cloth? You said he gave it to. Just a moment. Uh, I'll I'll be back uh, in a moment. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> he's gonna go back in the other room. Where's the name? Come back a few minutes later. Um. Okay. Um. We'll we'll check around with some of the surrounding cities. I'm I'm afraid we don't have anything specific at the moment. Um, two questions. Um, are you are you planning to care for the child and and you'll be in Melitus, I assume, until we find the parents? Oh, uh, um. Well, we were hoping after this encounter to go uh, seek out um, potential help from some of the surrounding temples potential uh, help as in i don't know that they're going to know any more than we do about where the child would be from well i believe it is common of of certain followers of what akara i believe Setessa. Oh. Setessa. oh so you're um, planning to dump the child at one of the temples i it absolutely would be, it yeah. In in our defense, we are currently in the middle of a mission um, from counselors uh, and Elitus. Uh, yes, I was, Dracios, about to, Dracios. I was about to ask you of, of this. If you had recently been in Data. Yes. yes. That's where and, we hailed from. We, we came on Dracios' ship, the Dolphin, which is now at port. I see. Apparently... You were um, temporarily incarcerated in Data. Indeed. And Only because someone was imp impersonating the head of the guard. Yes, and you had can, a talk, to, you I, can I, talk to the head of the guard to clarify this. Yes, I, I see there was a note. Trust me, I believe I have notes here specifically about you and a very confusing story. And I... I'm worried about the child in this case, but this isn't some kind of a joke, is it? Oh, no, not at all. We just tend to end up in weird situations. I don't know. We are um, destined for strange things to happen around us. Yes, Fated, you might so. say. Hmm. I see. Which is, which is why we are considering trying to find someone else to look after the child. It isn't because we want to wash our hands of it or don't intend to see it cared for. It's just that because we have been in difficult situations, such as that incarceration event, it, it would be unsafe for us to have a child with us. I mean, we've been traveling by sea recently. I mean, taking the child on a boat or crossing major swaths of land, especially if there is someone out slaying nameless or different things like that. I just, it, it wouldn't be safe. Which is why we're hoping either the parent is easy to be found through you, or we'll go to the temples and see if there's somewhere it can stay. Well, um, I would suggest uh, my commander is, is somewhat concerned about the child's welfare as well, and uh, we think it would be best. Uh, we'll we'll happily um, 
take care of the child and, and go to one of the temples as well. So if you don't mind, we'll just uh, take the child from here. I would like to incite this gentleman. Does he seem genuinely concerned or is he... Go ahead and roll me an insight. schemish. So would I, as she kind of clutches the child a little tighter instinctually. All right, you get advantage on that, Ariana. <laughs> yeah. Good, because I rolled a six. <laughs> <laughs> there, that's a little better. Um, that's my insight. Ooh, and I'm trained in insight. Uh, that's an 18. Um, they're looking at you kind of uh, in that way of, Maybe we can get the baby away from the psychos and get the baby safe before they do something <laughs> stupid. That's valid. That's that is a valid thought process, to be perfectly honest. Um uh, uh yes, um, I suppose it makes good sense, uh, if everyone is all right with that. Um, we will probably check in. We have other business at the temples um as well, so perhaps we will check in and have them check in with you their people will talk to your people oh fine uh, that's that's great thank you and he will take the child i don't think girls gives it up yeah i don't, I don't have yeah. it i don't have control he, over this he will put his hands out I, I don't suppose you have a name for the child yeah it's called waif waif so do you hand the child over or not to girls well, there'll be a, a bit of a pause as she speaks only into Ariana's head and says, Ariana, do you really trust them? I think they want what's best for the child. Okay. She'll hand the child over gently. Mm -hmm. I'll take him and take the child quite carefully. Yeah. Uh, great. Um, so, uh, are you planning to stay in Melitus? Um, no, I think, I don't believe so. Um, I do intend for us likely to come back. Like we said, we, we have connection with Elitis, um, and other council members, so I'm sure we'll stop back in at some point, but we're actually headed towards, um, oh, Tavi isn't common knowledge, right? Mm, no. What is near Tavi? Um, Krimnos, Hunter's Crossing, either of those would be in the general area. Okay. Pro probably closer to Hunter's Crossing. Oh, are we walking? Oh, yeah, I guess we are, huh? Yep. That's up to you all. You were going to make that decision, so... <laughs> Oh, we were discussing. Oh, we'll come we, to we're that. traveling we'll by land already. I remember. Yeah, okay. we're traveling by land. Yeah. It is technically still on coastal. Okay. Um, oh, um, yes. No, we, we actually have business. We're, we're continuing to track some different um, leads going on. I'm sure you're well aware that there's been different destruction and, and chaos. And um, we have information that we're seeking out near um, Hunter's Crossing. So we actually intended to leave as soon as we were done talking with the temples. So I, I do really appreciate you taking this child. Of course. Uh, ability to get we, there. we would ask, uh, where are you staying while you're in Melitus? Oh, at Elitus's home. The, the home of Count the Counselor Elitus, oh. where Counselor I, Niktos is staying. Uh, with that, his demeanor changes a little bit. And he, <laughs> uh, I see. Um, very well. Uh, please uh, let us know when you choose to depart and where you're headed so that we can uh, keep you informed. It's oh, best be for us to be able to know where you're at if we need to uh, reach out to you for more information. Sure. I, I, I assume you're aware of, um, well, we call it Bubo, um, the owl that... Um... I'm sorry? An owl? This, this, this owl. owl. Oh, your, your, your anvil rod. <laughs> Yes, um, this Amber Rot can deliver messages, so if pressing, we could, um, you know, maybe when we reach Hunter's Crossing, we could give an update. If we find anything interesting there, um, that oh, may be uh, important of course, to the council that's, members. So. That's a wonderful idea. Thank you. Thank you for offering that. Yes. For sure. And then whenever we deliver that information, you could then send a letter back. Of course. Of course. Great. 
And with that, he will turn and take the child deeper into their uh, building. Into their lair. No. Into their lair. <laughs> Well, I feel strangely empty. Hmm. Bye, yeah, Waif. Must have been hard. I told you not to name him. Hmm. I think the gods were finally rid of that. Perhaps we can. Sorry, uh, sorry. Um, if they, I mean that he's finally rid of us. They'll be better off. No, I would say that's true. <laughs> Perhaps we can get you a pet. Maybe. <laughs> a bird. A bird seemed to like you. Oh, yeah, Ooh. that's right. Hmm. Yeah, we haven't encountered that's... many birds lately. Hmm. 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 I'm sure you can find some crow feathers somewhere around this town. <laughs> yeah, they're still cleaning up. <laughs> uh, so, perhaps... Does this mean we're leaving? I, Ariana, you still wanted to go to some of the temples, right? Uh, well, perhaps we should just ask around in case, um, in case the local authorities are short on people to go do the legwork. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, there was, we were talking about Afara, I think, Temple of Afara. All right. Do we know where that is? It would be easy to identify. Uh, it's a tall building with pillars with a statue of a woman outside emptying a large container of water that is flowing down like a fountain and flows out from that. Oh, let's go. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. We need we need combat to wake Krista up. Yes, exactly. There's been too much drama. I agree. I, my self like to fight. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Agrios, get that child back. <laughs> <laughs> what why? I don't know. Fun. What are you gonna use it for? Mm. <laughs> you might kill some people in the process. Mm. <laughs> I could kill people in the process of anything. My this is true. I want to do. It's honestly an impressive skill. <laughs> so you make your way to the uh, Temple of Afara. And um, it's actually in fairly nice shape considering everything that had gone on. They've taken any of the uh, carcasses or flowers that were left around and actually arranged them nicely and intermixed with different flowers and things and kind of made these little dioramas around little stick Here. figures of people. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> ding, ding. Oh. <laughs> Are you about to say something I didn't want to interrupt? <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Good, good morning. How, how may I help you? Um, we were just curious if anyone had come to you recently about a uh, lost child. Um, well, we've, you've lost your child. We found a child. Oh, we um, found a child. It's with the, uh, the authorities at the moment, um, oh. but we just thought we'd do a little legwork for them to help. Oh, very well. Uh, well, um, sadly, with all the events that have gone on here recently, I, I assume you've you're we're here and are familiar with the the unusual attack of the birds and our poor council member that was yes. Oh. Uh yes, we actually were uh we are staying with uh at Councillor Elitus's home with cat with the new councillor Nyctos. Oh, very nice, very nice. Well with the, with the, the gifts and blessings of Afara, we are, of course, repairing the city. and Things are going quite well. But yes, there have been quite a few children who were, who were separated from families. And unfortunately, some, some families lost children and some children lost families during all of that. 
Uh, you wouldn't happen to be looking for a child to take care of, would you? Not currently. Our line of work, I don't think, quite aligns with that. Yeah, we hear that a lot. Yes. Well, we often end up in deadly battles uh, over artifacts, so probably not the best. Um, unless you have some prodigy warrior children, in which case. <laughs> Well, um, there was that one Minotaur child, but I, I believe that he's on his way to Satessa at this point. Oh, with, uh, you have an orphanage there, correct? Uh, yes, yes. Wonderful. Um, no, other than that, I think we're okay. Uh, we just wanted to know if anyone, this, this uh, child was kidnapped from outside the city, um, was from a, we kidnapped. don't know where. That's horrible. We, we managed to rescue it from its kidnapper. However, we did not get as much information as would have been nice. Um, we know that he was from a town outside of the city, um, but we don't know yeah. where. But in, in case we're just figuring <sighs> needle in the haystack, you'll eventually find it when you get pricked. So I just, I, I don't stick understand it with. So many children without families, and people choose to take a, fa a child from a loving family. It, it makes no sense to me. Of course, if they're distasteful enough to do that, they probably wouldn't be qualified to take care of a child. Quick question. Um, sure. Ephara is the one... Which god is Ephara again? Uh, cities. Okay, mainly cities. Okay, so she's not... It's not her... Who's the one that... that Vara, Vara, who do you follow? Um, I follow Athreos. 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 That's okay. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. No. So I was like, I don't know if I want to bring these people up to these guys because these might be the ones that don't like them. Um, <laughs> no. uh, yeah. Um, yes, it was uh, very distasteful, um, but we were able to retrieve it, but haven't been able to return it yet. If uh, you guys haven't miraculously heard of something specific, um, we... Uh, if you do hear of specifically someone coming into town looking for their very small son, um, presumably human, uh, looked that way at least, okay. uh, they they are with the uh, local enforcement. Of course, of course. We, I'm sure they will be here shortly. Uh, soldiers don't like to take care of children for very long. Yes, we we you were our next stop, but uh, I feel they didn't think it's safe with us having heard what our occupations are. Well, I appreciate that. And, and thank you. And please, um, we, we have laid out some food and wine in celebrations of the rebuilding of the city, if you would be interested. Well, the base isn't here. Um, <laughs> I'll look back at the group, see if anyone's interested. Um, sure. I'll always take free wine. Yeah, thank you. So she will guide you into where they have laid out in, inside of the temple. And inside the center of this temple is this large diorama of the entire city of Melitus. And there's actually places where someone has gone in and marked the damage that was done. And as it gets repaired, you can see that someone is going in there and meticulously making this match to the city. You but are the, all very organized. Oh yes, it's Afar. It's it's our job to take care of the city. And and the one thing you notice about this diorama is the temple of Afara is probably twice as large as it actually would be in scale. <laughs> so, yeah. Yep. And interestingly. The Temple of Heliod is probably twice as small as it would actually be in Melithus. Beef. Very good. Uh, so they will make sure that you get plenty of food and everything, and this person is going to head off for a bit. And uh, after about 20 minutes or so, she'll come back by. And, um, I'm sorry, um, how old did you say the child was? Look to Tikaros. Um, 
It was quite young. I want to say 18 months or so. Oh, I see. Um, what color hair? Was it, was it a blonde? I think so. Oh. Well, um, I'm afraid there was a, there was a report of a, a family that was subject to some crime. I'm, I'm afraid the, the family was, was killed. Huh. And they could not find the child, but they were not sure. I don't know how to say this and kind of fans herself. I don't know how to say this politely, but the bodies, the way that they were, they weren't sure if the child was there or not. Could you perhaps tell the authorities what you know of this? Uh, absolutely. Uh, they, they should know as well. This report came in uh, about, uh, I don't know, a day ago, maybe a little more. Um, they've, they've apparently sent out uh, some soldiers from other villages and some rangers. Uh, even some rangers from Akros have joined and they're looking. We'll definitely uh, find every information then if they have rangers. Um, can you perhaps uh, let them know if you pass along any information that um, it would have only been one person? Oh. And if more than one person was involved, then it wasn't where this child belongs. Interesting. Well, that is good to know because there, there were several footprints they found, and and one, like like a thumbprint, on one of the pillows left in blood. <laughs> oh no. We really need a fingerprinting system. We could match this up, see who this is. Ariana, mother of modern forensic science. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you never have expected it. CSI, CSI Theros. <laughs> <laughs> That's I the can, spinoff. <laughs> Ariana can dramatically put on sunglasses and dramatically take them off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh boy, there, there's, there's our one shot idea for a. One there shot you idea. go. Yeah. <laughs> just everyone wears glass sunglasses yeah. and just takes them off takes and puts them, them back on again. It's just all quips. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, interesting. Yeah, it definitely has like a pointed look at like everybody. <laughs> of like. <sighs> um. We very much appreciate that information. You're, you're very welcome. Uh, you said that you are investigators. Are you? Are, is this the type of thing you? This is in fact the exact thing we investigate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how interesting. Very much so. Yeah. I, I hope that you're able to. I, I of course hope that this is not that child, but, but then I do because I'd hate for the child to be dead. But I. I also hate the child to be an orphan. It's just so distressing. And well, um, anyway, we will we will take care of the child, and uh, we'll we'll stay here for probably a week, and then if if nothing is found, we will probably move the child to Satessa. It's a long journey, but we have the facilities there. To... Wonderful. Uh, do be careful on the roads. We have heard of. Uh... Uh, possibly somewhat of an army moving through the lands, so be sure you take caution. We've heard about that. We've heard about this this Minotaur who fights in the name of Erebus, but he's he's attacking the the returned for some reason. Although there there is some story that he he had done oh. some damage to a Leonin and. Two or three tribes of Leonins in the north. But... Yeah. That would make sense. No. 
anyway, yes, and you be safe, and, and good luck in your searches. Thank you. Uh, finish wine and continue onward? <laughs> yeah. Uh, is there anywhere else anyone wanted to go? I, f I figure I was going to check with all the temples, but I mean, it's going to probably be the same story and this is probably the best information we're going to get, so. Um, well, if we want more potential information about uh, Crassus and his path with the nameless, then we could go to the Temple of Aquarius, but that's not really our journey at the moment, as much as the dressers, and he's already left. So. Yeah. Just so we have the information, should we be checking with the temple of, was it Erebos, who Crassus is supposedly following? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're right. That's um, I don't know. I think we should go. Personally. To Erebus or Athreos? To Athreo. Or no, to um I think we should we should head out to oh, sleep. Tavi. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if we can do out. much else. Barry agrees. On the road again. Adrastos yeah. is already dealing with Crassus. We should leave that to uh, him. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> and clearly the 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 thumbprint events are still happening so we really do need to work forward on whatever lead we have there yeah so we should go get prime mm -hmm. and tolly mm -hmm. i'd say so At this time, is it possible for me to actually have a conversation with Prime? Uh, sure. While all this is happening and they're wandering around the uh, the city at large. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. I'll just I'll find. I think is he is he in kind of like he'll be in the filing study, room, filing the papers. Filing. Yeah. Prime, do you have a minute or two uh, or a moment at least? Are you asking if I can spare or if I will exist for that long? Sorry, you I apologize. I, I'm a bit sarcastic today. That's fine. I just wanted to understand what you want. What your feelings are. What I want? Hmm. Well, I, I want to complete all the filing of these papers and Hopefully, get some information that will help you all on your mission. Okay. So would would you want to stay here instead? Then? Oh, as opposed to going with you. Um, have you ever had parents? Well, of course you've had parents, Ptolemais. Um. Have you ever, did your father ever want you to do something that you wanted to do otherwise? Always. I want to make Niktos happy. I want to please him. That would make me happy as well. But... I also very much like to be in the company of my friends, my tribe, as Adrastos would call us. Oh, you. Sorry. Us works. Then ultimately, nothing that any of us could say, or Nyctos could say, would be able to change any of that, right? Yeah. 
except that in the eyes of Melitus, I am a creation, and therefore I am property. And there is a there is a big debate in Melitus over sentience and anvil rots. They would argue that while, for example, Bobu um, is intelligent and and has some decision making, that Bobu is not a lie and possessing of his own soul. He's simply a clockwork device that can eventually run down. <laughs> um, there have been some anvil rots, but they've had a, a rather disruptive and confusing past in Melitus. And therefore, there are many rules that have been put in place and, and several laws regarding um, what anvil rots are allowed to do, um, especially if they belong to someone who resides in Melitus. So what you're saying is Nyctos and all of his compassion would rather you be property just so you could stay here by his side. I, I think it would be, I, I truly believe he thinks it is in my best interest. I don't believe that it's, he, the council would frown on this, but he, I think he thinks I am, am actually the son he lost. He speaks to me that way. He told me. He told you? I personally believe that if you... If you have some outside obligation to... Stay with him. Make him happy. You should. In the same vein that, for all of us, I know that we would be equally as nurturing and happy if you came along. There is no right or wrong choice here. There's no way to specifically look towards the logical route. It is ultimately your decision, and whatever happens, whatever consequences. Nyctos is your family. We are also your family. And I believe I could speak for him as well in saying that if there are any consequences to your decisions, we will help you bear them. I want you to understand that that freedom is more important. Your freedom of choice is much more important than playing towards your strengths, uh, keeping you safe, and or staying with the tribe. All of those things. None of that means anything outside of your choice. Thank you. I appreciate that. I I am concerned if Nyctos told you his true feelings. I may have revealed too much to him. And please um, make sure Agrios mentions nothing about teaching me to fight. That is sure that. Um, against the rules for anvil rots in Melitus. Well, I just really hope that uh, we leave very soon, so Nyctos doesn't have that many conversations with Agrios. Um, but, as I said, whatever your decision is, 
whoever that doesn't agree, whether it be from our own tribe or Nyctos, I'll fight for you. I appreciate that. Do you... What do you think Tikaros would like for me to do? That's not up for me to decide. Mm -hmm. As I told you, every single person would want you to do one or the other. But you have to decide for, for yourself. I will think on it. Except for one thing, don't don't listen to Dracius and, and his hangover medi don't ever make that thing ever again. I that's it was atrocious, and I'll just walk away as I'm saying that. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he as you're walking away, he'll turn and hold up a paper like he was going to say something to you and set it back down. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. uh, the rest of you, are you heading back to the house, I assume, to get Tolly and Lime, possibly? Yes. All right. You arrive back at the house uh, several hours after leaving, as you've been wandering over this great sprawling metropolis and talking to people and eating food and drinking wine, and I assume not drinking as much as wine as Ptolemaeus. Although, I do have a hangover remedy. Anyway. Right. So you arrive back at the house, and uh, Prime is still working on filing in the front. There are several other uh, people milling about doing things, the, the workers who are generally at the house. Prime Tully! Prime Tully! Mm. I'll run up to where Prime was, but I'm calling Tully as well. I believe he went... Well, he went that way. I'm not sure where he was going. Okay, but you have to get all of your things ready. And Prime, I had an idea. Okay. Do you remember a long time ago, you told me you wanted to be a field researcher and you wanted to learn magic so you could polymorph into a cart or something amazing and be stealthy. Do you remember? Yes. So. You should pack every magic tome or scroll you can find and get ready to come with us if you want to, because we're going to leave soon. And we can study on the road. Oh, that sounds very, very interesting. And he immediately stands up and moves to the other side of the room and starts grabbing scrolls off the shelves. <gasps> Great. Okay, I've got to go find Tully. Get ready and come down. And he will. He will start packing stuff. Ariana will start packing her stuff and wait at the um, cart for everyone. I think my stuff, Tolly's, yeah, I'm actually, all of my stuff is in the cart. I'm on the timeline of us getting here to now. I don't think I actually used, brought any stuff in since I was just drunk, so... Probably, just, I'm probably like ready to go and just waiting for everybody to leave. Mm -hmm. Well, Prime will show up at the back door with a large pack full of packed full of different documents. Excellent. I I found multiple. Do where's Where's the child? Oh, we had a really good morning. We had we left it. Oh, you found its parents. Offer. Oh, no, mm. we didn't. Oh. But we thought it would be safer with the authorities, and they're looking up leads, and the Sutessa and Afara people are all helping, so it's going to be much safer than on the road. Excellent. That's very good. It's very interesting. I was looking through some documents, and I found information about Nyctos's son. 
Did you know oh, his yeah? name was Ptolemaeus? Was it? I thought that was very interesting. It's not an uncommon name, however. No, oh, like Tavi, I guess. Pretty common. Yes. Apparently, they never found a body. Oh, that's awful. Yes, I'm sure Vara would be quite disappointed in that. Hmm. Do you think we should tell her? I don't know. We should ask her what happens in that case. Yeah, we should. Let's do it. So when Vara comes out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we were just, I think. I think we would move, or I'd encourage Prime to move out to the cart where Ariana and possibly Tolly are by now. Yeah, I'm probably at the cart already. Yep. Just wait for Vara and Agrius. Yeah, Vara would gather any of her things that she brought, but she would also go and double check um, wherever Adrasus was sleeping and make sure he didn't accidentally forget anything <laughs> when he quickly left in the night. As this is, as we're loading things up and getting things ready, Prime is just going to start listing off all the Ptolemaeuses on all of the census records, going back hundreds of years, just talking about how common the name is. I'm not sure I understand why you're doing this, Prime. Oh, um, it was just some interesting information I, I ran across. Most of these people are dead. It's been ages. It's, it's but their names still matter, don't they? The memory of them or their acts? Well, both. Many of these names have great purpose, but it's a census, so many of them just existed. It's not that common of a name. <laughs> I'll just <laughs> get to the back of the cart. I have yet to find any other person named Prime. And I'll be behind the cart and just, because nobody would ever name their child that. <laughs> just. <laughs> and he, he no, around it. it's because you are one of a kind. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And he'll look around the corner and go, Niktos did. And then go back to loading <laughs> stuff on. <laughs> well, Far would head out. I guess would also head out. And now Prime is going to look over and start ch checking down every name of Agrios he can come up with and start talking about the history of where that name comes from. And of course it is from a long, violent, you know, long loss of violent murderers and killers over the years. Yeah. Warriors who left a bloody trail. I wasn't even named Agrios. But you're called, you said your name is Agrios. I said I was called Agrios, and I am. Oh. So you're named, you are called, pardon me, after uh, great warriors. Yes, I suppose that's a good way to think of it. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You know, Agrios in itself means anger and violence and distemper. Yes, I imagine that's why they call me that. Hmm. In fact, I would wager that many of the men on that list were not originally named Agrios. Oh, interesting. It would be I'll, a bit I'll... of a coincidence, wouldn't it? It would. I'll go look and see. Oh. I can't if I'm going with you. But I will make a note for research at a later time. So it's decided then. He'll look over at Tikaros and go, Yes. I feel this is the appropriate place for me to be at this time. Let's go! Hmm? So, On with them. What? Uh, 
just to be clear, what is your choice for where you're going? Tell me what's happening here. I think we're going by land in a wagon. Okay. Probably stick near the coast. I wouldn't imagine we'd go super far inland. Okay. So um, looking at the map of Theros for where you're headed, Melita sits on the Four Winds Plateau. And then as you head eastwards, you're going to move into <clears throat> the Lagana area, which is more mountainous and forested. Uh, following around the bay, uh, probably down towards Krimnos. And then the place that was pointed out to you is somewhere down near Hunter's Crossing. Which is Krimnos again, worth stopping in? Do we know anything about that city? It's a fairly good it's size city. city. I mean, it's, yeah. it is. It's, it's a fairly good size city. Oh. It's, it's slightly larger than Data Harbor. Uh, definitely not as large as Melitus or Akros, but uh, sure. it's more than a village. So it's fairly good okay. size. Be worth stopping. Yeah, it would be okay. interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, presuming you would be exiting by the northern gates, because that would be the most obvious place to go out. As you approach the uh, northern gate, you are approached by a sentry and ten hoplites. Oh, good. You stop your wagon. Oh, oh lovely. Um, I'll, I'll just, I'm, I'm guessing that I, since the last time I was the one that, uh, that uh, controlled the wagon, that I, I would be controlling it this time too. Uh, okay. And I'll just kind of turn over and I'll just like, Oh, by the way, for everybody that knows, um, if Prime comes with us, it's, it's considered theft. And I'll just uh... stop and it's like, well, I don't really have allegiance to the place anymore. You know, if anybody wants to uh, make sure that we don't do anything that makes it bad on Elitus. Okay. What are you proposing, Ptolemaeus? Are we all in agreement that you want that he should come with us? Or should he go back to the house instead? It's purely up to Prime to decide, in my opinion. Yeah. Already decided once he stepped into the car wagon. In which case, as I have told him before, we are here to bear the consequences. Well, I know you're not asking me. Oh, your answer already. <laughs> so long as everybody is in agreement. And I'll ride up to uh, the sentry. And I'll just be like, is there anything I could do for you? Yes, uh, I believe you have an anvil lot named Prime on board. Yes, seeing as how he's our record keeper for our journey. Um, his owner has said that he is not allowed to go on this journey. Which owner? Niktos, the councilman. But unfortunately, wasn't Prime on loan for Elitis? We're on official business for Elitis. That is something we... for the council. Um, Niktos is listed as the owner and creator of Prime. We are on a little bit of a tight schedule. We oh, also do the keeper as well. Sorry, Tolly. Didn't he find Prime? I this is that not a discussion much. for here. If you would like to have this discussion and he will point over towards the council chambers. You can have it there. If you attempt to leave with Prime, you will be stopped. I feel like you are specifically impeding on official council business, though, in doing so. And you are more than welcome to take that up to... with the council. I believe you'd have to take that up to the council instead. He will take his sword and draw it and go, 
this argument ends here. Ooh, I like the Anzalot stays. If you have any discussion over it you would like to have, you will go to the council. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody just calm down. Sir, you should let us pass. And I'm going to cast suggestion on him. <laughs> oh, shit. The classic Jedi mind trick. Yes. <laughs> you will let us pass. Oh, yes. if this, if this, this fails, is not we're the anvil rot we're looking I for. Hope, <laughs> I oh. hope you know if this fails, we're going to jail. Okay, okay maybe. Can try. Oh, okay, it's I'm a not wisdom. going to jail. It's a wisdom saving Ooh. throw. It's DC 15. And my name is Tikaros. I am lucky. <laughs> she says out loud. <laughs> he puts his sword back in his sheath. Official council business. You're sure the council knows of this because Nyctos was very clear. Oh, we must have caught him in the middle because, yeah, he was quite upset about it, but we talked to him. Both, both, um, both Alidus and Drakios. Good match for us, yes. He'll look inside the wagon and. Prime. Yes. Are they telling the truth that you are on official business with them and it is approved? Oh, yes, definitely. And he will stand aside. Hell oh, yeah. Hail the Decepticons. Oh, I can't wait for this to <laughs> bite us in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Are we turning Prime into the BBEG right now? <laughs> we can dream. I feel like this is happening. Good grief. And. Are you there? You move aside. What are you doing? Yeah, let's get the yeah, fuck out I'm, of here. I'm gonna continue. <laughs> as soon as as soon as uh, we're out of your side, it's just you do know that in some circles we're considered fugitives now. Oh, I, yeah. Last time, I technically didn't lie. I mean, Alidas told me to assist you. Yeah. No, I didn't they didn't lie ask. Either. They didn't ask who approved it. Icaros said I could go. That wasn't wrong with me, was it? No. No. Not at all. Logically, everything is above board. And I, I must confess also to another deception that I have done, and he'll look at Ariana. I, I must apologize that while I did speak to Adrastos um, and tell him the information I had, as you suggested, I may have um I may have impersonated you when telling him she's going to look like real like surprised and like and then really disappointed and then kind of quirk a smile <laughs> and say I know I was a little confused as why though um I I also provided him with a map, but it wasn't the map to Crassus. What was it a map to, Prime? I looked at reports of the movement of returned and theorized that maybe that is where the return that we had encountered with the child would have been going. And since he was trying to find his friend with the cloth, I figured that that might be related and it might be a better choice for him to go on that hunt. While I may not disagree with you, you should not take that choice away from people. I I understand. I... I guess I almost had the choice taken away from me as well. That was part of the conversation that we had before. Well, not to be done about it now. Well, who's going to deal with Crassus? 
well, I suppose hopefully Adrastos will show up, find uh, his friend, and then perhaps they can join forces and be aware that Crassus is coming potentially for them. So hopefully they will, or perhaps we'll deal right. with Tavi and be able to find him and then you can deal with him, Agrios. No, I don't want that. Uh, I don't think he would be very happy to see me. Adrastos wouldn't be happy to see you? No, Crassus. Why not? Why? Oh, um, I killed his son. Oh. We do need a board, right? We can all agree we need a board. <laughs> Let's pick up yarn on the way out, some yarn and some nails and a board on the yep, way out of town. A there's a reason why I said that the <laughs> Prime was going to be our record keeper. I Apparently. I remember all of that. Ptolemaeus, you're not randomly someone's son, are you? Well, well, actually... Well, I suppose you're someone's son. <sighs> It'd be really funny if I'm, I was Nyctos' son. And then... Uh, I'm actually just going to, as I say that, kind of think about it, and then cast Gift of Gab, and just go, no, someone, son. What's Gift of Gab again? It's where you, like, forget the last 15 seconds or whatever? Basically, yeah. The, uh, <laughs> whatever came out of my mouth never came out of my mouth, and you only heard this, the last thing I said. Yes, okay, perfect. <laughs> Good. Oh, wow. that's <laughs> tricksy. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> yes I'm, is truly. Going to, I'm is going to take out some paper and begin writing some notes. Beautiful. Yeah. And also, Vara, what happened? Okay, so Nikdos's son died and they never found the body. Prime just told me. So if they never found the body. How does it pass on and find peace and what happens? Um, well, it's, I suppose it's possible that the body had been found by someone or something else prior and was just removed, uh, just normally, physically, by someone else. Um, If there were any major acidity or issues with the well, I guess I could, I could, um, I mean, there's a lot of what ifs and maybes. I, I, um, I don't know. I don't know for certain. Yeah. Well, at least, well, Prime also found out it was called Ptolemaeus, so Ptolemaeus, at least just somebody's son and not that poor son who died in the well and disappeared. Mm. I think we're dealing with too many tragedies nowadays. We've had so many weird things. I think we should just hope, be happy for once. Maybe the kid's still alive somewhere. I'd agree. Yes, I mean, it's quite possible. Um, well, you know, I mean, there is... The legend of the exceptions it's quite possible that somehow some god decided that um i don't know the child was needed for some greater purpose fate does decide strange things for us all very true it's hard to say but um that is very much in the past and we have a lot going on in the present <laughs> Don't we just? So, do we feel like this misinformation that was given to address us is going to cause him to end up in harm's way or impair him? He was going to get himself in harm's way regardless. Sure, but uh, I mean, maybe he'll find his him. friend. Maybe he'll find his friend and simply come back and forget about Crassus because he has his family back. 
<laughs> you don't know Adrastos. <laughs> well, then uh, maybe he will have his family back and join with his tribe, and we can all go together. And so that uh, when we die, we will die as a group. Sure. Well, let's amend a couple things. Um, <laughs> he will be coming back. I decree it, or else I will go and kill him a second time. Um, and next to that, uh, I do think that we will not die uh, going up against someone like Crassus. I disagree. I, I have looked at the numbers on his army, and it is quite large and quite dedicated. Oh, he does have an army. That's right. But they've mostly <laughs> been killing Nameless. I mean, Nameless are fairly easy to kill. They don't, half of them don't really even know where they are. Well, unfortunately, the stories tend to be written by the survivors, and uh, they tend to want to write what will keep them surviving. I believe that he has also decimated several villages along the way. Right. Oh, what a bitch. Um, he, we'll is, he, is, <laughs> he is known, he is known as he, he he is known among many troops as Crassus the Decimator. Ah, what a title. Only he only always deals with one tenth of, of every village. Exactly. <laughs> every, every entire thing. <laughs> oh, I'm glad Ptolemaeus is as pedantic as I am. <laughs> I, I'm honestly looking at it, and I have wondered from the day that someone's backstory named Crassus. I'm like, does he know who Crassus of the Roman army is? <laughs> Because Crassus was the decimator. He's the one who invented and, and is most famous for it. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's your history lesson, folks. So you can write Hooray. that down as continuing education. So. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Another Trivia. thing I would like to try to uh, fix there is uh, I, as much as I love all of you, I would rather us not all die together, uh, living together, like surviving, that'd be better. Just not immediately all of us dying at the same time in any place. Doesn't sound very, doesn't sound very fun. I'm not sure I can die. Uh, that's an experiment I don't think any of us want to endeavor on. Oh, yes, I wasn't thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're dwelling a lot on death. Do you all, I mean, I can, I can talk about death in the process if you guys need me to. Do we, do we need a session? To, Just I, decompress. Yeah, I, I talk about why we use coins, why value doesn't matter, different mm. things like that. Boring. Oh, right. <laughs> You're so correct. And Mara's just gonna like grumpily like <laughs> sit in the back of the <laughs> That's what I'll that's what I'm It's almost like trying someone trying to give us a history lesson. <laughs> Prime, Prime's gonna go, yes, I, I've often wondered why Phoenix is is considered a god after he escaped from the underworld in the, the land of Erebos. You would think that he wouldn't be a god because both Atreus and Erebos would be angry with him. Emotions well, are strange things and make us do weird things. Yeah, few, feuds between gods don't necessarily mean that one is or isn't a god, unfortunately. Indeed, gods are often angry at each other. Pointed glance. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like all of us have a very different sense of, of what death means for us. And I honestly don't think any of us have the power to convince anybody else otherwise. So, it is what it is. Fair enough. And, and Prime, <laughs> as for you dying, uh, I'd be in a lot more trouble than, than I would hope to say. So, let's not have that happen. He'll just kind of Tilt his head a little bit at that one and okay. 
I would definitely prefer if you don't die, Tikaras. Yeah. Well, that would be terrible. We have magic research to do. Show me Absolutely. the stuff you packed. And yeah, let's begin, do it. He will begin breaking out various scrolls. And he I'm has take he, an anxiety nap. <laughs> I'm so far as gonna sleep. <laughs> love it. <clears throat> oh, what a mood. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Ariana will probably. Uh, I, I presume we're riding in the the um, caravan, and Agrios is walking beside us, unless he's all tucked up in the back. No, he's walking beside. He'll trot alongside. <laughs> um. So, Grass's son. What happened there? Uh, we were friends. It was a. Uh... Religious thing. It's complicated. I feel all falling apart, falling outs between friends tend to be complicated, especially when you know, religion and gods are involved. He was and the sacrifice that proved my ultimate loyalty to Mogus, but he was important to me once. Now I just keep a piece of him with me. Glances down at the Minotaur Warhorn. Mm. Ah. Makes a lot more sense now. You never seemed a material type, so I see why that's important to you now. Yes. But, so you were you were a member of Crassus's I was a property of Crassus's tribe. I was, uh, I approached with the expectation that I would be welcomed as some sort of prophet, but uh, reality was a bit harsher, though I would say it prepared me for what was to come in my life. It was a useful experience. And eventually I like to think I did Earn a sort of respect. I would imagine if you well, you proved your loyalty clearly. I was Crassus the one that instructed you for this and proved said that that was your task. No, no, uh, no, he was not. Uh, I. As you know, I am an oracle. I receive my messages directly from the gods, and it was my strong feeling that this was, this was what Mogus wanted. Mm. Is, is that likely why he no longer worships Mogus? Mm. I, uh, I couldn't speak to that. you leave before he became what he is yes i was never very close to crassus himself Prodos was my friend one of the only ones i've had bad mm -hmm. things tend to happen to people who get close to me sometimes because i do them I look forward to the challenge. I don't for what it was. Not anymore. Hmm. You are an intriguing person, Agrios. You have many layers to you you don't show often. It does not serve me to show them zeal to do the will of my god that is what serves me best the core of a man is weak i think it depends on the strength you're referring to i think it takes a lot of strength to expose the core i 
I have held fast to the idea that everything I do was for a greater divine purpose. I am an instrument of Mogus. I have had to do everything that I have done. It is part of my path, the road to my destiny. I was chosen for this. I understand that you have questioned your God, but I cannot. I cannot, or I fear I would collapse. That unto itself is a strength, I find. And for both, for having the conviction, or also perhaps finding that that question needs to be asked. If everyone has their own journey that they're being sent on, and always be willing to question what is your victory and what is your goal. Don't be afraid of it. I am committed already to the path that I am on. There is little purpose in questioning it. If I am wrong, then that is not even a possibility worth considering. Killing Protoss is not the worst thing I have done. Well, there's plenty of opportunity for more things to be done. Yes, yes. I am certain. I am certain that the destination of my path will become clear to me as we continue on this, this mission. I do still believe that there is a greater divine destiny for me, for all of us. You are blessed to have a greater grasp on the direction that your God wants you to take. I am. I, I am blessed. Not all of us have that. I am here to share that blessing with the rest of you. I admire your conviction. I'm going to keep with Aros for the moment. <laughs> yes. I admire your conviction, too. <laughs> Especially since you found the strength to question it. He reaches it's over and pats her on the back. She'll kind of, she'll give that sort of like, oh, shucks. <laughs> I am very blessed myself to have found all of you. And I am terrified at times, to be perfectly honest, of this quest we're on. But I take comfort in the fact that we are all doing it together. I have already learned a great deal traveling with all of you. I look forward to seeing what heroes we become at the end of this journey. I like that sentiment very much. I might go make sure Vara's just napping and not having a full anxiety attack. Yes. Uh, hmm. She seems a bit out of sorts. Is it not having a drastos around? Despite his hot-headedness, he does tend to be a calming influence. I don't quite understand how that works, but... Hmm. It's a cathartic sort of thing. We feel our own aggression in him. Hmm. That must be it. Well, 
let us continue our epic journey <laughs> on Indeed. to heroism onward to heroism and violence and ruin and that sort of thing it's all part of it it's all it's all good. Exactly. Like... <laughs> <laughs> go make sure vara is actually sleeping and not just panicking <laughs> just glance don't wake her up if she's sleeping <laughs> She's she's like dead asleep. You can you can, it kind of it almost she like came downstairs and had this facade and kind of walked through the day like oh yes look at me like we're about to go on this journey but you can tell like the captaining experience wiped her out. Adrastus not being here wiped her out. She did not sleep much last night. She hates cleaning up vomit so that was also pretty awful. Uh, so yeah, she's like. Like she will sleep for an eternity if you let her. <laughs> she's oh. just like she's just like snuggled up very much just to herself, like <laughs> enjoying a moment of peace. Pull a little blanket over her and kind of tuck her in. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure we're going the right direction. And she's snoring slightly. She she used to not snore, but ever since the whole the whole fog cloud. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, has, she, has, she has a bit of a snore. <laughs> Amazing. Letting the pause go in case anybody says anything. Uh, Ariana, the stone in your pocket begins to feel cold to your touch. And there is a message on it. <clears throat> Coal burrows deep, river flows deep and dark, many broken remains, warning scratched on wall, the return spread serenity breeds death and darkness. Oh, that's not good. They hadn't invented punctuation yet for the viewers. So. <laughs> <laughs> punctuation takes up words. Yeah, that's um, extra characters. No, exactly. Uh, okay, say say again, please. <clears throat> Hole burrows deep, river flows deep and dark. Many broken remains. Warning scratched on wall. The return spread. Serenity breeds death and darkness. Now these are the guys that were going to investigate the top of the river, right? That is correct. And last time, last message. Hold on a moment. <laughs> last message they sent you was <clears throat> at riverhead bass is well gone large tempest river vanishes into ground large scratch marks on wall metal fragments colossus we follow Christos data right oh, concerning 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 okay And I will, of course, well, send that to you in chat if you would like, so that you can. That would be context, so. phenomenal. My auditory processing isn't always great. Yeah, and it's um, it's hard to take all this with you know no punctuation. So it's fair. But I'm but I am a cruel and heartless DM, so that's why I do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly not, since you're willing to send it to me. Um, <laughs> uh, it only get take the cruel and unusual shtick so far right <laughs> that's right you know you gotta put a little bit of heart in there and nobody feels the pain of the heartlessness yeah you know something like that <laughs> um we will reply back uh or i'll reply back another Thumbprint appeared, massacre of family, left child in Melitus, uh, mm, on way to Tavi. Who is with you? Uh, 
XOXO Ariana. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not that, but. <laughs> I'm just taking it literally, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Probably, yeah, no, she actually would say, who is with you? Okay, so that's we'll 18. Uh, that's 18 letters, yes. or 18 words, pardon me. And how many, is it 20 or 25? 25. Oh, it's 25. Okay. Um, out of character, is there anything else I should ask or tell them? I think so. Mm. We are now criminals. <laughs> That's <laughs> FYI, also criminals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe on the lamb. <laughs> Mm. Not sheep. <laughs> Why are they riding <laughs> lambs? They could have gotten horses in a cart. <laughs> um. Yes. Uh. I. I will. In actuality, say. Um. Uh. Let's see. I got like seven left. Um. Uh. May be. In law trouble in Melitus. <laughs> <laughs> all right no all right message sent very good okay. and then i will um turn to everyone and i will let them know uh the message we received from uh the from priest Cecius. they have journeyed up to the beginning of the river beyond akros um and their report was whole burrows deep river flows deep and dark many broken remains warning scratched on wall the returned spread serenity breeds death and darkness any thoughts i have plenty but i don't <laughs> <laughs> prime what do you think <laughs> We should turn back now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Vara, is there any anything in your or Ptolemaeus in your readings or or anything about the returned spreading some kind of serenity? Is that a person? Uh, serenity was one of the words said to Tikaros, correct? By one of the vultures? I think we've yeah. heard that multiple times now. They said love too. I think serenity, love, and something, something else. Like hope, I think, yes. Yeah. I find that it's but odd to have so many contradictions too. What was the other message about how the river just kind of disappears? This one says it flows deep. And that serenity breeds death and darkness. It's not usually what serenity breeds. Mm. I think the most concerning thing is, is understanding why the, those contradictions are there in the first place. I guess, I guess the contradiction may be within the return themselves, right? They believe they're spreading serenity and doing a service, but in reality, they're killing people. That's, I guess you could perceive it that way. I, d I don't see why return would kill people. Well, we just encountered one that was very confused. Yes, I mean, that's pretty common of them to be confused, but, uh, you know, um, the returns don't have the memories, but they are still human, um, or whatever they were. Um, <clears throat> in a sense, at least, they, they still have feelings, and 
you could argue that perhaps mortals carry over, I guess not, but it doesn't seem likely that any would just suddenly start lashing out. I will interrupt at this point and go, well, actually, the returned of Odunus are known to be quite violent. Oh. Hmm. They tend to stay around Phoboros and have their battles there mainly. But... That's fair. Uh, where is their Dunus? Uh, that is far north, uh, to the west of Akros, on the uh, shoreline, near a place known as, well, Oberos, but a place called the Crypts of the Lost. Oh, well, that would make sense. Uh, yes, it is somewhat south of Death Bellow Canyon. That would make sense. All right, um... I don't know. Um, river, I mean, obviously we've dealt with rivers going in opposite directions. And oh, it I seems to be going down a hole. Well, that makes sense, right? Didn't we hear something about that? Wasn't it? I mean, we thought that the river was flowing towards um, towards the forge, right? Mm -hmm. But let me... Oh, I don't know. Uh, well, if you believe that the underground is quite literally underground, I suppose there could be a hole there, and that's why there is a particularly large amount or violent amount of return. It's been made easy for them to make the journey out of out of the underworld. And is is this does this tie into the thumbprints? Is it is is it an entirely different issue? Is it two people at war with one another that's causing these problems? Oh, it's it's a piece of the puzzle. We're missing quite a few pieces still. I've never been good at puzzles. I'd be interested wonder, in knowing what the warning said exactly. I wonder what many broken remains are. Those people remains. Remains of what? Well, we've seen, I mean, we saw ships broken as well on the way here. The ta the, the statue in Akros fell. It could be moved up the river. Could be anything. Broken remains. Broken remains. You don't necessarily say broken when you're talking about people. These sending stones need a speaking function. <laughs> <laughs> Ariana, inventor of modern forensics and cellular technology. <laughs> well, Unfortunately, I... if if Oru, pardon me, Bubo was functioning properly, he could probably carry a message. Although, if they've traveled underground, he may not be able to find them. Yes. Speaking of, is is Bubo? Full, like he 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 can still fly it's just his voice box it's yeah working. he just does not speak okay. correct okay um yeah we should send him to back to Drakios to inform him of what we've heard perhaps he'll have some information perhaps he can at least research or or send people out to uh rendezvous with Cecius I suppose. I suppose a good idea. we should inform him that I am with you as well. Maybe he will do something to diminish the legal problems. Worth a shot. Yeah. I'm going to agree with that. Yeah. Or he may be very angry. He did, after all, tell me to return to Melitus. You did. And then you left again. I did. I did. That is correct. <laughs> yes, I wager he won't be happy about that. I feel he's not happy about much. He was a very happy person until all of you came along. There is, <laughs> unfortunately, Either. very few things to be happy about around these, around this time, though. 
He was actually oh, seen him before is. you all showed up at his house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> Just the idea that we so thoroughly ruined a man's life <laughs> that his personality changed. Uh, I will write a letter. Uh, dear Acrios, not, no, that's not your name. Uh, that's me. You're, that's you. Well, <laughs> the best part is, is I said Acrios with a K, which also isn't you. I don't know who that is. Oh, yeah. Oh, because he's in Acros. There you go. I got there. Figured it out. There you go. Go go uh raise Acros to the ground and rename it Acrios. Um do don't that. give him any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> um like, wait, Acrios, that's the wrong way. <laughs> the city did I raise? Um I will yes, okay. So two considering that Akros is the prized land of Iroas, that would really cause some interesting things having it well, yeah. you know, taken in the name of Mogus. But anyway. Oh that'd be amazing. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it just uh okay, write a letter to Drachios. Um and we'll say that um we have continued through Melitus and are en route to Tavi. We have received word from Cecius, priest of Eros from Data, that read Holborough's Deep, River Flows, blah, 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 okay. breeds death and darkness. Um, If he did not contact you on his way through Akros, perhaps you know of a contingent that could join him to assist. Also, Prime continued with us, which Nyctos is unhappy with, and may have put us in some legal trouble. <laughs> if you don't mind smoothing that over. <laughs> uh, anything else that needs to go in the letter, she'll read it to everybody. Mm. Sounds good. Don't worry, Acrios, Agrios won't sack the city and rename it Acrios. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> Definitely shouldn't mention it either way. P.S. No promises. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, in that case, we'll uh, sign it off. And then, oh, um, FY, or P.S. Adrastos is not traveling with us. He is following a an additional lead. Sorry for the Pull typing noise. I'm hoping the mic's filtering it out, but <laughs> uh, it, you can hear it a little bit, but it's fine. Okay. <laughs> we we I assumed you were taking it down. I'm I'm taking um, it all down. So. Amazing. Well, I, can't, I won't wait, 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 every, wait, wait. So. Everything you say will be taken down and used against you. Isn't that how the Miranda rights work? And I won't remember that I said it. <laughs> yeah, T. Gross? Put something nice on the end because he's always so grumpy. Say something really nice about his face or his hair or something. PPS, you have a lovely face and hair. Yeah. Try that. He's. He's he's not bald, is he? <laughs> Can't remember. No, he's not bald. <laughs> no, I wish he was. Oh no! I know. <laughs> and have a beautiful shiny head. Uh, <laughs> wonderful. You, ha you yes. have a lovely this... face and hair. Okay. This is Drakios that you're you're writing to. Yeah, apparently we made him really upset. He was apparently a very jolly guy before we arrive, so perhaps we can help bring him around. 
Everyone loves a good compliment. Um, you have lovely bone structure. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe add, add a line that said his, uh, his hangover cure was, was excellent. Was, uh, oh, was, uh, yeah. and Ptolemaeus no, don't, don't add thoroughly name. appreciated <laughs> <laughs> hangover cure. Roll deception. No. <laughs> Wait, yeah. cross out Ptolemaeus. We. But you can clearly see it still says Ptolemaeus. <laughs> this whole situation is put Barb back. Barb <laughs> back. <laughs> She's back asleep. Like, y'all started writing out this fucking message. And Barb went, uh, <laughs> Goodness. All right. Uh, wonderful. Um, and anything else we missed? I have a room for a PPPS. <laughs> you, you, put, you put this on Boobo and he tries to take off and he's kind of leaning sideways <laughs> from the weight. <laughs> Can anyone cast reduce enlarge? Yeah. Because we need to enlarge awesome. Boobo or reduce the message. <laughs> Well, if things don't pan out as a warrior, at least you could make it as a writer. Not you a think good one. so? Not a good one, but a prolific one. Oh, yes. I do say a lot of words. None of them are particularly good, but I say a lot of them. Although people do pay me to say words. But I think they like to hear the tenor more than the actual content. It's true. It is interesting. Perhaps you could I... be an orator. Ah, there you go. It is interesting. I've not seen many people who write stories that are untrue. <laughs> is that not the, the best stories? <laughs> uh, yes, we'll fold it up and put that in Bubo and let him go. Forensics right. and cell phones aside, she's also the first fictional fiction author. Yeah, uh, exactly. Or as they were known <laughs> yeah. in the early days, liars. Yes. yes. <laughs> Prolific liar. <laughs> oh, before he leaves, I will, I, before I send Bubo off, uh, Bubo, do you prefer oral or Bubo? Uh, one nod for Bubo, <laughs> two for oral. <laughs> You named him that. I didn't name him that. You should have anticipated this. <laughs> <laughs> For the viewers in the audience, <laughs> it is our rule. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Poor no, I killed Grindy. Oh, gosh. <laughs> A rule or rule, <laughs> which is which uh, time for up oh, more continuing education. That's the old ancient Greek for owl, and that is where the word passed down to English over mispronunciations over time. Earl became owl, so anyway, yeah. which also sounds more like oral. I'm just saying, yeah, exactly. So, anyway. <laughs> 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 sorry it's, for it's, killing everybody it's, 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 it's an eye it's an icebreaker so boobo do you sure. prefer do you prefer oral or, you know, kind of prefer oral or boobo, or boobo. Or, or the, the party paladin Before? asking that of a robot owl is I not think, how i expected i think i know the answer but just to be sure what is boobo <laughs> Whatever you want it to be. (laughs) 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 Well, (laughs) no, I fully killed Tam now. I'm sorry. Oh, we will this not. is usually me crying. Yeah, we on the will floor. not recover. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it's been a great game, guys. <laughs> That's a good time, right? <laughs> and with that, <laughs> <laughs> as Bubo 
hurriedly flies off into the <laughs> He didn't answer my question. <laughs> trying to be considerate. I, I you know, oh. I think I think some things are better left unsaid. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs>